Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic problem. And make sure to stick until the end of the video, I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have a over b plus b over a is equal to 2. And I want to find the value of a minus b. So first of all, I have a over b plus b over a is equal to 2. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by a b. So now I have a over b plus b over a times a b is equal to 2 times a b. Now if I distribute the a b, I get a b times a over b plus a b times b over a is equal to 2 times a b. Now for this, the b, these two b's cancel out, and a times a, this is going to be a squared. So I have a squared plus, now for here, these two a's are going to cancel out, and then I have b times b, which is b squared. And now this is equal to 2 times ab, simply 2ab. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2ab on both sides. So now I have a squared plus b squared is equal to 2ab. And if I subtract it on both sides, I got a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to 0. Now, a squared plus b squared is minus 2ab. This is actually the same thing as a minus b squared. And let's actually go ahead and test out if this is true by doing a minus b squared. So a minus b squared is the same thing as a minus b times a minus b. Now to solve for a minus b times a minus b, you have to first distribute the a. So now a times a is a squared, and a times negative b is negative ab. Now I can distribute the b. Negative b times a is negative ab. Negative b times negative b is positive b squared. This is equal to 0. Now negative b and negative b, or sorry, negative ab and negative ab, these two are like terms. And this is equal to negative 2ab. I have plus b squared is equal to 0. And if I rearrange this, I get a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to 0. And as you can see, these two are equal. So now I'm going to change this back to a minus b squared is equal to 0. And now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So the square root of a minus b squared, these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with a minus b is equal to the square root of 0 is simply 0. And now we found our value of a minus b. It's 0. So now to check, let's actually plug in two values of a and b. This could be anything. I'm just going to say a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1. So our original equation was a over b plus b over a equals 2. And if I replace a and b with 1, I get 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 is equal to 2. 1 over 1 is 1, and 1 over 1 is 1 again. 1 plus 1 is 2, so I have 2 equals 2, and this is right. So right, the equation is right as well. All right, so I have x minus 1 squared is equal to x plus 2 squared. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x plus 2 squared on both sides. So then on my right hand side, these two are going to cancel out. And on my left hand side, I have x minus 1 squared minus x plus 2 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared 
This is the same thing as a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x minus 1 and b is equal to x plus 2. So now this is going to equal x minus 1 minus x plus 2 times x minus 1 plus x plus 2. And this is equal to 0. Now x minus 1 minus x plus 2, we can simply distribute the negative sign. So now I have x minus 1 minus x minus 2. This is times x minus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. And now x and negative x, these two are going to cancel out. Negative 1 and negative 2, that's equal to negative 3. So now I have negative 3 times x minus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now x plus x is 2x, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. This is equal to 0. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by negative 3. So I'm left with 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 divided by negative 3 is simply 0. Now, if I subtract 1 on both sides, I have 2x is equal to negative 1. Now if I divide by 2 on both sides, I'm left with x is equal to negative 1 half. Now, here is another method of actually doing this problem. So I have x minus 1 squared is equal to x plus 2 squared. Now, x minus 1 squared, if I end up doing this, this is the same thing as x minus 1 times x minus 1. x plus 2 squared, this is the same thing as x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now, x minus 1 times x minus 1, I can distribute the x. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Now, I can distribute the negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Now, x plus 2 times x plus 2. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Now, if I distribute the 2, 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. Now for x squared minus x minus x plus 1, negative x minus x is negative 2x plus 1, and x squared, 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 4. Now these two x squareds can cancel out, so I'll be left with negative 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 4. Now I can add 2x on both sides, so I get 1 is equal to 6x plus 4. Now if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get negative 3 is equal to 6x. And now if I divide by 6 on both sides, I'm left with x is equal to negative 3 over 6, which is equal to negative 1 half. So x is equal to negative 1 half. This is our answer. Mm -hmm.